it's hard to know exactly how to feel or indeed whether to articulate how you actually do. It's difficult, mm -hmm. isn't it? John Oliver dropped by late night with Seth Meyers on Monday, and the pair discussed the recent death of Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. When Meyers asked Oliver about his reaction to the news, the Englishman said this. I mean, it's difficult, isn't it? Sure. When, yeah. when a 99-year-old <laughs> such a checkered moral history leaves us. Prince Philip died Friday. The BBC's decision to cut into its TV and radio schedule and devote wall-to-wall -wall coverage to the death led to over 110,000 complaints from the public. Oliver pointed out that it seemed to him people were trying to not speak ill of the dead at first, but that soon faded away. People were really trying to do that until what you also can't do is speak overly complimentary of the dead. And it feels like at that point, all bets are off. Then, then the people who've been biting their tongue going, actually, you. No. Here's what he was like. Oliver lightly addressed the news on his Sunday HBO show last week tonight. Prince Philip died, which is a tragedy if you don't know a single thing about him. And even if you know a little bit about him, you might not know this. The host went on to point out that Prince Philip and Queen Elizabeth II were cousins. Yeah. It's true. Prince Philip and Queen Elizabeth are cousins who later got married, also known as a Giuliani meet cute. Myers brought up that fact during his interview with Oliver on Monday. They were very close. They were. Um, I, 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 don't, I, I don't think it was just restricted to them. I believe that uh, that family is familiar mm -hmm. uh, with one another. Myers interjected, quote, it speaks to their closeness. In the way that they can't be close emotionally, they certainly are close biologically. And I think that is, um, that's something, isn't it? For more on this story and the full segment from NBC's Late Night, go to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.